I may live a double life, but it's definitely a blessed life. So I walk into my house, I was out doing a few little things, trying to get some fabric and stuff and that way when I go back to wrestling I look phenomenal and drag is on and just cocoa mousse all the way. But I walk into my house and I, I, I see out of the corner of my eye a whole tree set up in the corner. It's not even December 1st yet and there's a Christmas tree up inside the house. I'm a little confused. Like it's a... skinny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And it's it's just too high off the ground. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's all right. That's like the tree of Christmas's past that no one wants. Like put it in a box and ship it away. Adios. Bye bye. Boss left, right? We do. But it's... I don't know, I just feel like it's skinny. That's all. I feel it's not cozy. I feel like the other one's more fatter. It is fat. I like it a little chubby. So. <laughs> so she let me know that my aunt and all her kids came down and set up the Christmas tree. And I was kind of shocked because who just buys a Christmas tree for someone and says, here you go, sets it up, and that's it. Like. It's funny. Well, we can keep this tree for this year and keep everyone happy. And then next year, Isn't we'll do. Is it in the way of the air conditioner? Well, I can just move it back. It looks skinny enough that I can just pick it up and chuck it. But we still have to look at the damn dead, sad little blue Christmas tree. For the next month. <sighs> so this Christmas is gonna be a little bit different. I'm doing things my way and how I want. You know, the last few years for Christmas has been a pretty shit show. I mean, last year it was very tension driven in the house when the family was there. And I just, I finally realized that I have to do things to make myself comfortable, to make myself happy. And if that means not being around family this year, then that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, COVID-19 may be my sister in that fact that, you know, we may have shutdown, so I don't, may not have to see my family. But at the same time, if it's not, I may not be at the house. Alright, well, I'll be in the living room wrapping Christmas presents if you need me. Yeah. We still have Thanksgiving dinner. I feel like the reason I don't want to see my family is because I feel like my family does not want to see me. I feel like there should have been conversations, there should have been text messages, something, some form of communication from one end. And it's just been radio silence. It's just been like, zip, zip, nothing. So I just, I feel like I know where I stand with a lot of my family. And this year, I'm not gonna waste my money on people who don't want me here. <laughs> it don't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. And if I turn it this way. Ever since I had a job, my first job, I always made it my priority every year to get presents for everyone in my family. And legitimately, I don't, I don't regret it at all because that's what family does. But now looking back at it, I'm kind of just like saying the last few years, a lot of my cousins have been old enough to buy me a gift. I don't get gifts from them personally. I don't, but yet I'm still spending money on them. 
And it's not a money thing. It's not a matter of money. It's a matter of like, why am I wasting my time trying to find a gift for you if you can't even spend a second to try and find a gift for me when you got your own damn job? Why am I wasting my money on you? It's the truth. Why? Does this look stupid? Because I like, I had to put another piece of paper over it because it didn't fit. Who's this for? For me. Oh no, be that see about your wrapping. Mine is over it. Wrapping's over it. And then he's worried about a little rip in the paper. Well, I want my stuff to look nice on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Over here acting like I shouldn't worry about the wrapping paper looking nice. It should be extra nice because I'm wrapping it for myself. I'm using that money and spending it on me. I deserve it. This year, I am giving myself a pat on this side, a pat on that side, a pat on my head. I'm doing it all because I do deserve it. I've really grown as a person this year, and I've helped myself. No one else has helped me. So I'm spending all my money on me. And yeah, you can call it selfish. I just call it spoiled. And I take the brat word literally, and I accept it as a compliment. Alright, so my Christmas wrapping is done for now. You know, I know it's stupid that I'm wrapping my own presents for myself, but I want to be somewhat surprised on Christmas. I want to be my presents right there underneath the tree for me, from me to me. Like, I want that. I got everything I asked for, I bought everything I wanted, I haven't finished buying stuff for myself, so I still have stuff to wrap. What am I going to do if they show up and are expecting presents? Tell them the truth. The reason I did not spend money this year is because I had to save every last penny just in case my aunt tried to kick me out of the house. That's the truth. Let's see how they swallow that pill. Then again, I did buy myself a brand new Jeep, so is that really saving money? Oh well, it was for me.